what's up all you wonderful guys gals and ghouls CJ here back with another video and in this video I will be showing where you can get cheap and or discounted decent art supplies um when I first got into the art scene I felt as though if I had to be like this successful artist I had to like to have like the top of the line like art supplies and you know now that I've, I've been in the art scene for like a while now it's like you don't you really 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 don't and I feel as though um, like today like especially younger artists I guess younger than me I'm, I'm old by comparison 32 years old by the way um you know you can just see like they seem like they're like put under this like pressure to like you know produce these amazing works with like top of the line equipment and I just wanted to make this video to dispel that thought and that you know it's okay if you want to use like non-expensive art supplies I do it all the time so yeah here we go alrighty so these are pretty much simple explanatory these are just mechanical pencils it's a point seven um, soft grip mechanical pencils I believe I got these from Walmart for like a 24 pack for like three bucks or something and it's either that or I got them from Dollar Tree which are coming like a 10 pack for a dollar of course I can't remember which but the point is these are cheap and these are pretty decent mechanical pencils like they get the job done you know they're just that this mechanical pencil um I actually have a blue one of these I love, I love this pencil so much I actually ordered this off of Wish it's a um if you've been following me I actually compared this pencil to the Stiegler um, Mars mechanical pencils which is like super expensive this is basically like Wish's version of that pencil except it's super super duper cheap and I love this pencil to death and yeah the only difference is, is that I believe this lead is way softer than the one from the Stiegler pencil but I me personally I tend to like to work with softer leads like fun to smudge and make shade and stuff like that with them. but yeah that's like the kind of pencils that so yeah you can get pretty decent pencils at a nice price you don't have to break the bank for that um next is um i picked up this little eraser set it comes with two regular like i guess you could say plastic erasers and like one um gummy eraser or the little moldy eraser i forget what you called it but yeah it's from dollar and rooney and dollar and rooney's is known to be like i guess you can say like the bargain or like the student grade like art supply um i don't know art supply people and they make pretty decent um art supplies and i love their eraser sets and every time i go to walmart i end up picking up one because it's like it's like really cheap it's like only five bucks for like pretty decent like a little eraser set with this in it so yeah there's that you got your pencils you got your erasers that yeah, yeah. Um, this I actually got from Michaels. It is, these are like, to me, they're like, they're coming back in like style now. It's like the, what is it? 10 click, stylos, click or whatever. It's basically a multicolored pen with like different colored inks in it. And I remember having like a several of these when I was growing up and then it kind of fizzled out and now they're kind of making a comeback and I'm so excited because I love these things. I have like five of these already. Like I go to, like every time I go to the, um, Oh yeah, that's right. Got this from Michaels for like two bucks, okay? This was like in their little discount little art bin, whatever. Michaels, right? This I got from the Dollar Tree. It's not as pretty as this one, but basically it's just like the little decorative rainbow tape. It's basically the same pen. It's just, it just has a rainbow tape on it and this one doesn't. It's the same exact pen. It's, it's the same pen. Dollar Tree for a dollar, Michaels for two dollars, and you know, tax it like a two cents or something. I can't remember, but yeah. There you go, pins. And then like, they're not like uber fat. They're like, they're pretty tiny. I want to say that's a 0.7, maybe a 0.8, but it might be a little bit smaller, but you can get some pretty um, decent line with, with these pins. And then, like I said, they come in like different colors. So that's always nice. Um, Let's see, what else, what else, what else? I got these um, fine liners from Wish and um, I guess, I guess you can say I'm like a frequent shopper. Like I earned points and I actually got them down to like three bucks and shipping was like two, so it's like five altogether. It's like if you know how to like bargain shop and stuff like that, you can actually find pretty decent art supplies on Wish. Like I won't say like they're like the most horrendous 
art supplies because you actually can find some pretty nice stuff it just, i guess it depends on what you're looking for but these are just these are 0.4 millimeter um eyeliners here i can open up and you can compare these to like the steatler fine liners um 22 set and it costs like 22 dollars for their set i mean the pins look prettier in the steatler one but these work just as fine um like I said, I got these items from Wish. The only catch with these is you have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait. But for the price, it's to me, it's worth waiting. Um, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. Um, I got this cute little um, pencil sharpener from, where did I get this from? Oh, I got it from AliExpress. Yeah, I didn't get this from Wish. I got it from AliExpress. Came in not too long ago. Oh, don't, don't worry, guys. I'm going to have, um, I ordered a couple more things from AliExpress. And... I'm going to show off this pencil sharpener some more and the other items I ordered from AliExpress is just like a lot of stuff. Free shipping, but I had to wait like, I don't know, almost up to a month for this, but it works perfectly. Here, I'll show you right quick. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Please don't snatch my finger off. Um, oh yeah, yeah, you gotta open it out, hold it, and stick the pencil in, let it, and then you just, okay let it do its thing i mean is it the world's best pencil sharpener no and it's pink i don't like the color pink but actually that's pretty nice it gets a pretty i mean it was already kind of sharpened but oh damn you can kind of hurt somebody with that but yeah um i believe i got this for like three bucks and free shipping so hey I, I ain't complaining you know i had to wait but i'm not complaining so there's all these uh actually let me move some of this stuff out of the way before this next item I'm going to show. Um, all right, so before I show these two last little items and then I'll get the video. Um, I live here in Florida. I live here in the South, in the States. And I don't know if they have stores like this up North, but down here in Florida in the South, we have stores called Burlington's, um, Ross, and you know, just stores like that that usually just sells like um, clothes and apparel and shoes and stuff like that. But every so often, um they have um a stationary art supply section and guys this is where you have to like open your eyes do not sleep on these stores y'all open your eyes you gotta go look yo i found like this huge huge really cute sketchbook for like what did i get this for yeah 5.49 at ross yep. look at this. oh can you see it yeah this huge 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 notebook or sketchbook sorry for like five bucks and the paper looks pretty decent I mean I'm quite sure if you go over it marker it'll bleed through and all that stuff but what paper does it it's uh, maybe the paper from the crescent render notebook uh, or maybe like a really good vellum notebook. but actually this is pretty smooth too um I'm quite sure you can only just use this for pen pencil maybe some charcoal maybe maybe um some marker um maybe some light light I mean light watercolor but I mean if you just wanted a sketchbook to just like draw stuff in i mean this would pretty much get the job done Alrighty, and last but not least y'all i found a 12 set of cheap alcohol markers like i don't expect these markers to be like i guess you could say like copic grade but then again you know to me all markers are pretty much the same maybe um chemicals in the ink but um these markers from a a brand called Pinelli. Pinelli. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And um, yeah, it's a 12 set. They retail at 10, or it says comparable value, but at 10. But I got these for like five bucks at Ross, y'all. Five bucks. Again, I cannot stress. Go to these stores if they have a stationary art supply section. Go and look. Like even if the little section is kind of dusty and like stuff is kind of falling over each other, look through that stuff, y'all, because you can find some pretty decent stuff let's see I, this is pretty much my first time opening opening this okay um looks like you can use these two as like skin tones and it has like some pretty blues a purple a red an orange a black you know a nice little range to get like basic of a basic picture done you know um let me see these kind of remind me of the touch five markers oh look y'all it's the bullet nib actually the bullet nib it's kind of big i know bullet nibs are like all the rage right now but seriously um yeah i know they don't have like the brush tip whatever it's like you know of course your standard ah, 
chisel and bullet but honestly for me I, I don't mind like I get it why people like Copics or like markers with brush tips on them because they do help you with like getting certain effects and stuff like that but I'm just saying as a basic little set to just help you color in something really quick this is good and I'm going to have I'm going to have fun with these. so yeah guys um just wanted to show you these items and you know basically say again like you don't have to break the bank to get decent art supplies and again, I implore you, don't sleep on your Rosses, your Burlingtons. Hell, sometimes even your Dollar Tree and Dollar Generals, don't sleep on them. Go and look in their art and stationery section. You might be surprised at what you find. Okay, guys, um, that's about it. And I will see you guys later. Oh, wait, 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 a couple, a couple of announcements. Okay, so I have like two planned um, art supply reviews coming up. And I have one really big one. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this, but um, I did it. I'm going to review them, and it's so exciting, and yeah, but, um, what else, what else, oh, I know it's weird, at the end of the video, how is, how is your Inktober going, huh, how is everyone's Inktober going, I know I said I'm kind of like doing my own thing, but, I don't know, y'all, like, the Inktober prompts from like last year and this year, they didn't really jump out at me, but, maybe it's just me being silly, but, whatever, I'll probably end up like doing my own thing next year, um again as usual but i'll probably try to do it for the whole 30 days but this year i'm like eh, no, i'm not really feeling it so i just kind of made my own challenge the animal um human persona challenge i know i made one video on that already if you haven't seen it i will link it below and it's awesome go check it out but um yeah how's your ink topic going hope it's working out for you if you're participating if you're not great as well get some rest but um all right y'all this is the end of the video now I will talk to you guys, gals and goose, later. Don't sleep on them stores. Get good, decent, cheap art supplies. Okay, bye!